Welcome everyone to this uh, video cast of Article 27 for Catholic Social Teachings. On behalf of Mr. Aiello, I would like to uh, say welcome. Before we begin, I'd like to start with the prayer. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless these young men who are viewing this today. Bless their families, their extended families in our world, that we can find answers to this virus that is affecting us and we can return to school and to normalcy to finish out our senior year and the many things that are fun that go with it. Lord, we ask you that we can grow in communion with you so that we can live forever and eternity in your name. And we ask this in your name. Amen. So uh, we're going to be covering Article 27 today. Uh, I ask that you, number one, l listen to the po uh, podcast today, but then more than that, Go back and read Article 27. Pay attention to the vocabulary and the key things that are mentioned in that. And I think it will really become apparent what it's about. Pope John Paul II um, pointed out that when we study thou shalt not kill, the fifth commandment, he looked at that and said that there are things in society that are falling apart. And he pointed to two things in particular, abortion and euthanasia as telltale signs that we were falling apart in regard to that. He looked at two things, uh, this notion of false sense of freedom, as well as this notion of idolatry uh, as two ways that society was creating false values to live out the fifth commandment. And he's going to look at this notion of efficiency and individuality as thorns in us being able to uh, pay attention to the sanctity of life. And as we've talked in my class, the, stru the structures of sin are what enable people to be able to have these false senses of uh, life. First, he talked about this notion of license. And he said that, you know, license is the ability to have a false sense of freedom, that I can do whatever I want as long as I'm not harming anybody. But the problem is we can hard the we can very easily hide the harm that we're doing to other people in the way we live our life. He said that human freedom was a gift given to us by God, but it's not an absolute free. It's not an absolute gift. We, in fact, have to uh, always point our lives toward God to be able to really appreciate that gift. The second thing he pointed to was this idolatry. And he, his, his point was that when we begin to make material things more important than God, then we can hide our understanding of what material, what the quality of life is all about. So, for instance, if we think that pleasure is one of the things that gives us the quality of life, then the lack of pleasure, or in other words, suffering, takes away from the value of life. So if a person lives a life where they're suffering, then maybe their life's not worth as much, or perhaps even justified to saying that if a person might live in suffering or squalor or poverty, then their life isn't worth that much. And so we begin to take away from their values. And he says that authentic freedom really points us toward love. It points us toward an understanding that we begin to make choices, sometimes hard choices, but that lift other people up and all other people in the dignity that they have. It always chooses love. Uh, he points out that the uh, in the book, it points out that Roe versus Wade back in uh, 1973 it, it allowed for abortion in the first trimester, first three months of uh, pregnancy. But over time, that slippery slope has gotten bigger and bigger to the point where we now say that all abortion is okay. And because of that, uh, we are now pointing to this fact that, uh, that human rights are being violated. Jesus was a man who looked to the value of life, and he said that all life has uh sanctity. And we can look to the way that we celebrate Mass, the way that we celebrate prayer to understand that. So that's Article 27 in a nutshell. It's a very, very quick overview of that chapter. But uh, as I said, I hope that you look through the chapter, pay attention to the words, and then an assignment is going to follow at the end of the chapter that Mr. Aiello is going to give so that we can um, be able to pay attention to the importance of that. So the next article is going to be on the beginning of life and how uh, fertility and life comes to be. Thanks for paying attention. We'll see you.